Tesla's plan, if they can pull it off, well, everyone should be petrified. And I mean everyone, this includes BYD, Ford, General Motors, Toyota. In fact, every company in the world, not just automotive companies, should be absolutely petrified. It is a big if, but never say never. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing and supporting the channel. Thank you to those of you who are supporting us on Patreon. If you want to support us, I'll put a link in the description below. Tesla, as you know, as many of you guys know, and as Ford have told the public on a number of occasions, Volkswagen have told the public on a number of occasions, their manufacturing efficiency is far, far higher in comparison to other car makers, in particular when it comes to manufacturing electric vehicles. Now we factually know this, that is a fact that CEOs of other companies have, have said publicly. I mean, for example, Herbert Diess said it takes Tesla one third of the time to build an EV as what it takes Volkswagen. So it takes Tesla around 10 hours, Volkswagen around 30 hours. That's a huge manufacturing cost difference. I mean, Ford have repeated similar things. Many companies, when they're being honest, have, have admitted to the fact that they don't make a profit from EVs and Tesla do, and it will be hard to bridge that gap. Stellantis, I mean, look at all the comments from Stellantis as a CEO saying it costs them twice as much money to make a gas powered vehicle. It's gonna be very difficult. The future's, uh, but, but anyway, lots of whining and moaning and saying EVs are so terrible. Terrible. And he's changed his tune over the last couple of months because, well, yeah, he has to. Otherwise, he's going to lose his job. So not much choice there. But the point is here that making EVs and selling them at a profit is very difficult. Look at Neon Xpeng, right? Are they making a profit? They're even in China. No, they don't yet make a profit overall. In fact, they haven't in a single quarter of operations. So you can see it's a challenge. Now, the problem is here that Tesla already has this big advantage with manufacturing, right? Clearly. They make a huge profit in particular on their cars in China. But the thing is, they're constantly striving to increase efficiency, thereby profit in their factories. Now, one example is the cost of Tesla superchargers. To install Tesla superchargers, it costs them on average about one third compared to their competition, in some cases a one fifth, that their rivals pay to install superchargers. In other words, chargers for electric cars, kind of like gas stations, right? That's a huge advantage. Primarily, that's what it comes down to, the manufacturing advantage, the efficiency manufacturing. Now, if you don't believe what I'm saying, why is everyone copying Tesla? They are, they're copying Tesla. BYD just copied Tesla directly. In fact, they copied them very, very quickly, which is pretty impressive on their behalf. They didn't just do what um, Legacy Auto does and wait around and say, hey, you know what, we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. But honestly, we've been doing things for 100 years this certain way. So, you know, we'll wait and see. That's what most of the big companies did. Well, in fact, all of them did. The smaller ones, BYD, I mean, CATL, biggest battery company in the world, they went, yep, this is a good idea. We'll build cell to pack battery technology as well. BYD went and did it. Neo have started to copy some of those techniques. Apparently, there's six different automakers in China now who IDRA say that they are going to be supplying structural stamping machines to. So there's lots of companies now trying to follow in Tesla's footsteps when it comes to manufacturing efficiency. It seems as though Tesla will come up with an idea and the others will copy it. And I think that makes sense. You're smart if you do that, in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with copying. Yeah, sure, if you exactly copy a design, of someone else that's not good of course but if you copy someone else when they learn how to do something more efficiently that just makes you smart that doesn't make you stupid right so that's why i think volvo have started to do it as well that's why i think it makes complete sense but it shows you that tesla definitely think about this stuff hard they have a teams of people there working to try and just improve efficiency and i'm talking massive amounts of brain power going into this. But the problem is, this is the key problem. And it is it's certainly very, very scary for the industry. I'm serious, I'm not making this up. This is not hyperbole, I 100% believe this. In fact, I had a discussion with my brother recently, with a few people recently around me. It is an alarming situation we find ourselves in now. It is no, certainly an alarming situation. I see this as potentially being like Andrew Carnegie, Rockefeller. Right. Remember when they split up that company? The United States government forced them to split the company up about 100 years ago because it was considered a monopoly. That may happen to Tesla because Tesla plans on having robots, right? Right now, Tesla has more robots per car manufactured than any other company in the world. The reason it has less people per car manufacturer than any other company in the world. Now, how do you think Tesla can make electric vehicles and make you know 20% profit margins when no one else can do it? That's the key right there. Now, there's other reasons that come into play, but something that people are not acknowledging is simply this reality. Tesla pays less money to people, right? Less money to people per car. 
than anyone else in the world. That is hands down a fact. Ford CEO Jim Farley has mentioned this on a number of occasions. He said, we need to be more like Tesla when it comes to their machinery, their robotics. They have a lot less people on each car than we do. We have to copy that. We have no choice. But the problem is that Tesla's planning on getting rid of everyone. They are. Tesla doesn't want any staff. Other than people developing new products, thinking of new ideas. Tesla doesn't want any staff on their production lines that aren't robots. And why would you? Frankly, we're all human. I mean, I get tired, right? I get sleepy. Uh, I talk. I want to look at my phone sometimes. I want to go for a toilet break. I have a sick day. You know, sometimes I might do something like, you know, some people want to sue companies. They say they've had issues with companies. There's all kinds of reasons that human beings are incredibly, incredibly inefficient when it comes to manual labor in particular. But any kind of labor, we are inefficient in comparison to a robot. Robots are way more efficient. They never get tired. Yeah, they have downtime, maybe 20%. But think about this. If I was a cyborg and I was powered by a battery, a battery that could be replaced whenever it's, whenever it's flat, very quickly, instantly, replace the battery and off I go to work again. Imagine how much more efficient I would be. My arms don't get tired. Nothing gets tired. My brain doesn't get tired. I don't lose focus on the job. I don't complain, mine. I don't complain and whine. I don't call in sick. Imagine when Tesla's factories, their production lines have no people. Imagine how efficient they will be. Yeah. Now, Elon has mentioned this for years now, and I don't think people have really been paying attention. He said that eventually we need to have a global payment system where people get paid for doing nothing. That's what he believes. He essentially believes that eventually pretty well, the majority of us won't work because there won't be anything for us to do because robots will be able to do all of it. Now, the scary thing is Tesla is investing huge amounts into robotics, into having robots. And I don't mean robots that just can do simple, basic tasks like move a car from one place to another. I mean robots that can do everything, that have neural nets that train themselves, robots that learn, robots that can do all the things that current robots in Tesla's factories can't do. Robots that can replace you and me. Yep, even me. There'll be robots that will be able to do this job better than I can do it. It's going to happen eventually. There'll be robots that will be able to do your job, whatever you do, better than how you do it. Now think about this. If you have a surgeon, are his hands perfect? Absolutely not. Will you be able to have a robot that can do perfect surgery on you and not make a single mistake? Absolutely. It's only a matter of time. Now, the thing is, who are making robots? There are companies building them. Yeah, Hyundai Grobus, they're making robots, focusing on robotics. But I believe there is a good chance they will be beaten by Tesla. The key reason being the neural network. The neural networks, the ability to think, in my opinion, is what makes a robot different to a machine. A machine is something that does basic, simple tasks. A robot is something that can potentially think for itself, work out complex things, use its fingers, and to a certain degree, solve problems and challenges. Now, as you know, Tesla are working on their humanoid robot, and Tesla plans thousands of humanoid robots in their factories. In fact, that's a direct quote from Tesla. Now, this is according to a new job listing for the Tesla bot program. With science fiction promising flying cars, and that not happening for quite a long time, people are not actually taking this seriously. They think, oh, yeah, maybe it'll happen, but it's 100 years away. It's not 100 years away. It's closer than you think, much, much closer. Remember, Tesla has the ninth most powerful supercomputer on the planet, and they're not going to stop there. That computer will become faster and more powerful and more powerful and faster, and over time, its neural network, Tesla's neural network, will become better and better and better. And eventually, who knows, maybe in a year, maybe in five years, Tesla will have robots capable of replacing staff on the production line. Musk has made it clear that the humanoid robot program has become a massive priority at Tesla. During a product roadmap update early in 2022, Musk said that Tesla is prioritizing product development of the Optimus humanoid robot in 2022 over new product launches, which were all delayed until 2023. So essentially, Musk is saying, you know what? What matters more, right? What matters more, a Tesla Roadster or a humanoid robot? Well, yeah, this is a game of chess. And I think he's playing chess 
better than most of the competition. Musk has made a point of this, right? He said, people don't appreciate the value that the Tesla bot will bring to the world. In fact, he believes that it will completely change the world's economics. And he's right. It absolutely will. In a job listing for motion planning and navigation, Tesla bot, Tesla says that it plans to use thousands of humanoid robots in its factories. Tesla is on a path to build humanoid bipedal robots at scale to automate repetitive and boring tasks. Core to the Tesla bot, the motion planning stack presents a unique opportunity to work on state-of-the-art algorithms for motor planning and navigation, culminating in their deployment to real-world production applications. Our motion planning software engineers develop and own this stack from inception to deployment. Most importantly, you will see your work repeatedly shipped to and utilized by thousands of humanoid robots within our factories. Tesla say it will unveil the first working prototype of its humanoid robot at its AI day on the 30th of September this year. It's going to be fascinating to see what they reveal. We might get a good chance at seeing just how far Tesla are into this project. Regardless, this is scary. Tesla is clearly aiming to take a number of industries, the automotive industry, maybe 20%. That's their goal. 20 million cars a year, I don't think that's realistic. 15 million, that's 20% of the global market. Energy, they're deploying massive battery packs all over the United States, along with supercharging, the gas network, gas station network, eventually that will disappear and superchargers will be the new network. Solar and energy storage, sales of those products will skyrocket over the next decade. And of course, autonomous driving. Now, some of these will pay off and work, some won't. But the key point here is, Tesla only needs a couple of these plays to work, and it becomes the biggest company in the world. Let me know if you think that's gonna happen. Will they become the biggest in the world? And if they do, when do you think that will be? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.